Welcome to the Lifetime Assembly channel. My name is John, and today I'm going to help you assemble your tetherball system. In this video will follow the steps outlined in your assembly manual that comes with your tetherball system. If you've already begun and need help on a specific step, check the comments or description below for a timestamp associated with each step. Now let's take a look at what's inside the box. There are steps within this assembly that require more than one person, so be sure to have another adult available. Before we begin the assembly process, let's take a look at the tools you'll need to complete the job. You'll need two 7 16 wrenches, safety glasses, a drill. You may see us use an impact driver. If you decide to use one as well, be sure not to over torque or over tighten the hardware and a piece of scrap wood. To make this easier, we're going to use a 7 16 socket and a socket adapter. You'll also need the proper materials to fill the base of your system, so refer to your instruction manual for those items. It's crucial that you refer to your assembly manual to review the safety instructions for this build to avoid serious injury and property damage. All right, let's get started. Slide the brace collar on the tapered end of one of the poles until it rests at the bottom. Slide the flared end of another pole onto the tapered end of the pole from the previous step. Slide the final pole onto the pole from the previous step. Before moving on to the next step, be sure that you've done the previous steps properly because the next step is irreversible. You're going to seat the poles together by striking each end five or six times on a piece of scrap wood or cardboard. Be careful not to hit your toes. It's important that you complete this step, otherwise your system could separate during use and cause serious injury or property damage. Slide the side of the pole that has the collar through the center hole on the top side of the base. At this point, don't stand the assembly upright until you have proper weight in the base, otherwise you could cause serious injury or property damage. Now take your base plate and secure the holes in the tabs with the holes at the bottom of the pole and secure with the hardware. Align the two halves of the split collar around the pole and then slide them all the way down to the base. Line up the holes in the split collar with the holes in the base plate and then insert the hardware. Secure the bolts with the nuts and be careful not to over tighten. Take a pull brace and make sure the notch is at the top Slide a small pin into the hole in the middle, then slide the end with a big hole through the hole in the base, making sure the small pin lines up in those grooves. Place a larger pin into the hole in the bottom of the pole brace, then rotate until the pin snaps into place. Repeat the previous steps for the other three pole braces. Slide the collar onto the pole braces, making sure that the pole braces go through these notches in the collar. While one person is applying downward pressure to the collar, secure it to the pole with the self-tapping screws. Make sure to put the screw at the bottom of the slot in the collar. Thank you. 
Add the top cap to the bolt. Then the washer, the collar link, the expanding pull cap, and the pull cap wedge. Then finger tighten the hardware for now. Insert the expanding pull cap assembly into the pole. Secure the expanding pull cap assembly to the top of the pole by twisting the top of the cap until it's tight. Attach the clasp connected to the rope to the collar link at the top of the pole. Now we're going to fill up the base. There are two ways to do this, with water or sand. We recommend using sand because if the base develops a hole or gets punctured, the water could leak out unexpectedly, causing the system to tip over, causing serious injury or property damage. Filling this base will be similar to filling the base of our basketball systems. There's a link in the description below for tips on how to fill the base. It's important that you refer to your assembly manual for the specifics on how to fill the base of your system. We've already filled our base, so we're gonna move on to the next step. The needle's in the handle of the pump. Take it out and use it to inflate the ball. It's a good idea to moisten the needle before inflating the ball to prevent bladder puncture. Only put two pounds of pressure into the ball. Tie the other end of the rope to the loop on the tether ball. Now your tether ball system is good to go. For rules on how to play tether ball, check section five in your instruction manual. Thank you for watching this video on how to assemble a lifetime tether ball system. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up. For more content like this, subscribe to our channel. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to our customer service team and check out our other awesome products at lifetime.com.